Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I'm Catherine. Now, as you guys know, I really do love blue and white. And I try to make all of my transitions from room to room very subtle. So the living room being done in blue and white and then moving this on to the patio area. Now, earlier you did see our outdoor living space and yes, it was already blue. But that shade of blue and that density in that cushion did not work at all. It was very poor quality. So it only took a few hours of sitting on them to let me know that I had a problem. So guys, back to the store they went and now we have the new cushions. So I'm sharing those with you today in this fall patio. Now my husband had to come out here and do some work so he moved some things around and then there was a very bad storm and it was windy and all of that so we kind of left everything the way it was so that's what you're seeing here but back in late june we received a couple of things to replace the bad cushions so guys we got the allen and roth sunbrella deep navy cushions those are really good you can unzip and see that really great great uh, foam on the inside the caroline treasures graphic print pillows that look like an artist painted them it's so pretty and then of course the allen and roth rug so those are the new items that have been added out here back in late june that you never saw now it is hot so we're going to try to get as much done as possible this first day we're going to replace some of the rings that's anchoring the curtains they've gotten a little rusty but they haven't fallen apart but i'm going to go ahead and do this scotch guard some of the drop cloth curtains especially in areas where the water from the sprinkler hits them we're going to sweep and mop the floor and vacuum out the corners where there might be some insects and then we're also going to vacuum off the cushions i think that'll be it for today it's pretty out of here. So let's rise and shine and update a few things. We're spray painting some metal art from three years ago, as well as two plant stands. You guys know these have been with me for a minute and they are showing some signs of age. We're also going to repot some plants that I picked up from Lowe's, three moms, two orange and one yellow. I also like to cover the dirt with landscaping fabric. That's purchased from Dollar General for around about $1 this time of year. You just cut it, cover the dirt up and you can still water it. And believe me, plenty of sunlight is still getting to the root. Now, I was hoping a few of these guys would bloom in time for this video, but they're still sleeping. They're almost there. The two larger lanterns are from Home Goods, and it's been a couple of months, and I decided, let's go ahead. I couldn't wait for Christmas. I wanted them out. Now, along with the metal art, this mirror was in the attic as well.
there they are hello yellow this is going to be so pretty and bright yellow in this corner if you want to sit comfortably on any cushion sit on it in the store we didn't do that with our very first ones and we were miserable within hours so i definitely made that transition very quickly and that's how we ended up with the quality sombrello one so that's why we made that change you this is not a sponsored ad at all. I'm just sharing with you where these items came from. Shop wisely. Sometimes we pick things up and we think, okay, this is good to go. And we get home and because of the price, we say it was a good price, we'll go ahead and settle. But shop wisely, make your dollars count. And in the meantime, build your folders, put things in piles and say, hey, I'm gonna buy that later when things get better. Shop on your budget, never overextend yourself. You know what you can afford. Go ahead over to the Lowe's website, start looking around. They have everything from Safavia to fine furnishings. And I'm very impressed. So I've seen some things already, guys. So just go ahead and scan it through on the website look around and build up your shopping spree virtually just just do it that way you guys get the picture of what I'm saying if you want to know how to install drop cloth curtains as a homeowner then check the link in the description box below or the i card in the top right hand corner I gotcha Well, I'm celebrating the use of using multiple textures out here. You've got ceramics, you've got metal, you've got wood, and you've got woven fabric. So I really love this. So I want to learn more about using textures. Well, that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the photos as we bring this video to an end. If you are not a subscriber, please consider doing so today. And remember to press the bell. That means you want updated videos. And we really need your help, especially during a pandemic when everything is slowing down. And well, you know, the Google associates, they are working from home and yada, yada, yada. So help us out subscribe like thumbs up do everything you possibly can to help your favorite youtubers out we certainly do appreciate it thanks a lot for watching please stay safe out there and as always stay in prayer and stay creative